That was Berlin with Take My Breath Away, uh, which I'm dedicating to my partner, Angela, who's got asthma. Uh, I'll tell you what takes my breath away, the number of uh, calls and texts we've had about Jasper. It's not been like this since we had the chat about Ramadan. <laughs> Although, on our message board, a few people have let themselves down with some pretty ugly vitriol. There's a surprise. Yeah, I won't go into detail, but uh, lots of Fs, uh, smattering of effing Cs, some D-heads... And various T's and a couple of S for brains. Yep. Um, okay. Right. Sometimes time once again. To me that shut up. Time once again. Oh, a thousand apologies for our local hero of the week. Sponsored by Benson and Hedges. And uh, you'll remember last week it went to Andy Deacon, a father of three who was on a school roof retrieving a football and found the body of a cat, which he returned to its owner very thoughtfully in a silk. Lined shoebox. Ah, once again, uh, you've been calling with your tales of public spirit, heroism, and daring do. I'm sure it's what Alexander Graham Bell had in mind when he invented the telephone. <laughs> Good humour. Every week, I do uh, think we that ask we, uh, you, too much our listeners, store in, to uh, uh, put as forward someone in possible, your life as Andrew who Neil, you feel is worthy um, of the title hero. Are like it doesn't have to be hero in the Everyone, traditional uh, sense, uh, uh, i.e. a soldier in Iraq, but someone that you hidden. feel has gone out of uh, the way to do something for someone else. That's what we're looking for. It really is that simple. one crave a little bit of silence. Unbelievable. Hello, June. Hello. It's Alan Partridge from North Norfolk Digital's Local Hero. Sponsored by Benson and Hedges. Who was that? Your, your friend Maggie tells us that you've been recently knitting some luminous bibs for the car park attendants at your office. Oh, I did, yeah. Well, I'm pleased to say that you've been named as this week's Local Hero. You, nah, a hero. Who was that? By way of a prize, uh, you should be able to see a man outside dressed as a clown with £100 cash in his pocket. Oh. Is he smoking a cigarette? He might be. <laughs> Simon, who'd be your local hero? Uh, probably my newsagent. Um, at the end of the day, each day, he uh, gives away all the leftover sandwiches to homeless people. That's a hero. He's a hero. He's a hero. What about you, Jasper? Oh, no, I uh, couldn't possibly comment. <laughs> oh, go on. Uh, well, I'll tell you who I wouldn't nominate. No, we can all do that. Hitler, tell us who you would nominate. Well, I've always admired... Not someone who works in the media or London. Yeah, God forbid, making one of them a hero well, would be like Don't making... do one of those. Just tell us who's your hero. Well, uh, there was um, a history teacher at my uh, school, uh, Mr Rigg. No, so he, that's... He might... Sorry. No, you were saying... No, 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 please, do go on, I insist. Just he'd be, uh, he didn't have to take me under his wing, and uh, <clears throat> he did. And he was very kind to me when I was, when I was vulnerable, and, uh, and I miss him. And I don't mind saying that. You should talk more like that, because when you did, you can see in your face that Deep down, you're, you're a cracking fella. Hmm? Thank you. Forget about it. Forget about it. <laughs> Love that. OK, time for some music. Here's a chap who's permanently high while his mates sell blubber for cash. It's Bob Marley and the Whalers. <laughs> 